Here's another in the Never Touch a series. This one's Never Touch a Porcupine. A porcupine's an animal that uses spikes or quills to protect itself from predators. Oh, look! Boop! The squirrel's dropping an acorn. The squirrel has one, two acorns. One about to fall on the nose, red nose, of our porcupine. Right. You must never touch a porcupine, except in this book. Really, you should never touch any wild animals or animals you don't know. The woodland creature, the woodland animals, not creatures, animals look friendly, but they love getting into mischief. Join them in this funny rhyming book and have fun touching the bumpy creatures if you dare. Illustrated by Stuart Lynch. Published by the Make Believe Ideas Limited. You can tell this book's been a little well loved in my family here. My monsters do love their touching books. You must never touch a porcupine. He's not a fluffy cat. Meow. He'll spike you with his giant quills, and then that will be that. Oh my, he's frowning. His eyebrows are knitted together. He's got a big no sign. That's what this is. The red circle with the line is no on the hand, and it says forget it. So he's saying forget any idea of touching him. page. You must never touch a squirrel. It's a nutty thing to do. He has a lot of acorns and he might throw one at you. Oh my goodness, look at all the acorns. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight acorns that we can see. So many goodness. He's an orange tail. And here's a little little bug. I'm not sure if those are antennae or pinchers. Very interesting. Alright, let's touch his tail. How fun. And the nutty thing is a joke because you can say that someone is nutty to say that they're being kind of irrational or wild and he's got holding nuts because acorns are nuts you must never touch an owl she won't think you're polite it is quite rude she'll have a hoot by singing songs to keep you up all night oh my so she won't let you let you sleep because she's just gonna sing karaoke all night and it says owl always love you oh i love her rainbow platforms red orange yellow green blue purple she's got a green boa and she is pink with the crescent moon and stars and I think she's not supposed to be a good singer because it's got those little wavy lines in the music notes. These are different music notes. All right, let's touch your belly. That's a fun noise. All right, next page. <gasps> it's a skunk. Oh my goodness. You must never touch a skunk. That idea really stinks. He'll spray his smelly scent before there's even time to think. It says, oh, do stink. So it is a uh, joke on that this is, oh, do, is the scent of something like perfume or floor, something like that. Oh, the home, scent of man kind of things. And look, he is very proud of himself. And there's one, two, 
three flies. So, yeah, they spray that stink to save themselves from predators because they don't want to smell. Oof. So never touch the prickly folk who live around a tree unless they have good manners and make lovely cups of tea. Oh, so for a fox who lives in a heart, heart hole, who makes lovely tea, you can visit them if you're a ladybug or is that a caterpillar? I don't know, something like that. Look at the little hearts. They're all happy. And there's a heart on the teacup. So, do not touch wild animals. And I bet you that you won't see one making tea. But if you ever do, ask your trusted adult what's going on. Maybe you can go say hi. Alright, let's touch the fox. Hmm, it's a red fox. All right, well, that's the end. I hope you enjoyed that and had fun. I always enjoy these books. All right, have a great day.